Hey guys, this is Kaspav uh, with uh, a shotgun review of some hands that I played in this session on PKC. Uh, you can find details on, on how to subscribe on PKC uh, on the description of this video. Um, I decided that it's better to do this type of review rather than rather than a live video or a live stream uh, simply because um, on PKC it's a kind of hard to talk between hands um, decision have to be made relatively fast and this um, and the feature of uh, paying for time extension can become a little bit pricey so I only use it when only when I have to so let's start with a hand. Um, Ace nine suited on the button. Pretty standard call. The initial razors. We get a pretty, very good flop. Actually, we have um, the nut flush draw, two over cards, and some backdoor straightening possibilities. We face a pretty large bet. I decide to raise. He decides to call. I mean, I was between when when I was making the decision of um, raising or calling, uh, sorry, raising um, all in or or basically um, raising to the amount that I did. Uh, but I decided to to just raise and basically shove any turn. Now with his call, I don't know how to to say. Probably he has an overpair and he decided to call see a non-club turn and then put me all in anyways we're not going anywhere with his hand surprisingly enough he shows ace king he has three outs and he gets there anyways so we're one buying down next hand cutoff is a loose guy and i don't mind calling, but um, I prefer to get the uh, eight-seven suited uh, heads up against this um, against this opponent. So I decide to three bet on the button. The straddle uh, four bets and the initial ratio calls. Now I'm pretty much, you know, have very decent pot odds to call and position with a hand that. Flops, good, decent. Not a uh, not a bad flop, but definitely hits both of uh, these guys' ranges. And um, uh, the initial raiser decides to check. The other opponent bets about half pot. I had a bad feeling and uh, I decided to just fold. <laughs> um, I mean, um, when you call with uh, a hand like this, I mean, this is one of the best flops that you can see. But at the same time, um, I, the, a lot of sets are in their range. So I decided to fold. And it appears to be a good fold because um, we would be crushed by the ace king of spades here. Anyways, I'm not sure if that fold was correct, but that's how I played it. Next hand, ace king on the straddle. We have a limp, a raise. Pretty much standard hand. I three bet. Initial limpo decides to re raise. Now, I went all in. I mean, I buy in in this, um, you know, because I'm most, mostly a tournament player and I'm, I'm not good playing deep stack. Um, I will go with Ace King. I want to see all five cards. And I'm not, and obviously there's no call with um, this stack. So. I decide to go all in, and of course he has aces, and we lose one more buy-in. Very bad start. Another three thousand yuan, which is 
which is about um, just shy of 500 bucks. Um, it's about one to seven, so 7,000 won is uh, 1K. Next hand, we have a queen. We have button open, standard three bet. He calls. Not a bad flop, and um, I'm pretty much betting and um, the way I decided to structure a uh, multi-barrel bluff was a bet very small on the flop and then uh, bomb turn and river especially if uh, another uh, diamond comes so that's what I did and he he folded on the turn now maybe a little bit smaller bet on the turn around 11 to 1200 would be better so we have more fold equity on the river but um, he folded I mean I did want him to fold uh, basically any pair below Jack or maybe even a hand like Queen Jack uh, in a three bedded pot those are a little bit dicey situations. I mean, um, when you call three bet, what kind of hands he's going to call? Maybe ace jack. Maybe he folds queen jack, king jack. Jack 10 suited. Um, all suited connectors. Maybe he calls a, a three bet in position with um, six, seven plus suited hands. And... Um, Probably all, all the all the pairs, you know, um, up to maybe nines. I don't think tens. He might tend to call. Yeah, probably he's going to call tens and jacks and four bit queens and plus. So let's go to the next hand. Next hand. There, there was a limp and big blind limps. I decided to check. Nice flop. I'm just gonna call on this. Check again, he checks, and then I'm gonna value bet the river. I'm gonna get a call from 7 6, so that worked out very well for us. Next hand, we have jacks on the button. So I decide to call in this, uh, uh, in this configuration because uh, the under the gun razor is uh, on the tighter side so i decided to play jacks this way he checks so i throw in a little smallish bet like a protection bag against all his ace um, ace high hands things like that uh, goes check check and we're good with our jacks versus his eights good thing he didn't decide to turn it into a bluff but I guess we do have king queen and in our range, or you know, maybe uh, all the ace highs as well. So that's why he decided to play that way. This hand, I decided to get a little bit more creative, but I think I made a mistake. I'm not sure. So I, that's pretty standard call. Very uh, dry flop, and I decided to float up out of position, and I think here is my mistake. I think on this turn, it would be best to, to lead out, basically aiming for him to fold all his ace highs. Um, he's not folding, uh, you know, sevens or threes or fours fives you know those type of hands but maybe we can get a a fold from all those ace highs and um, if he decides to to raise our lead maybe it's a good opportunity to shove uh, basically repping that we you know repping a six we were on the big blind so six is an hour range and we pretty much have the nut advantage against the, um, the initial razor but i decided to check he checks behind we got to the river but we didn't get there and then we had to fold 
threes we're still down two binds um i raise threes under the gun we get a lot of calls nice flop we flop a set i decide to, sl to slow play because i didn't feel i'm gonna get too much action maybe even from a 10 maybe get one street but you know then i'm not i'm not sure i i i felt that, that slow playing would be the most profitable move at this point so it checks around so uh, on the deuce now four six gets there ace four gets there so now i decide to bet um and we get a raise now um we get raised uh, by this loose aggressive guy and um, like i said um, he basically does have four six and ace four in his range calling in the straddle and um, so there's no point in raising i mean i don't see us getting value from from a uh, worse hand um, maybe only deuces, but again, um, the way this hand was played, I feel that just calling with a set there is, uh, again, the best option. And a very nice um, river. I mean, um, uh, we feel that basically we have the best hand, but at the same time, we lose from fives. Tens would uh, basically um, three bet pre, I feel, especially by this opponent. And um, and now we, we beat ace four and six fours. So I kind of tank at that m moment. You know, I felt that I didn't know if I'm going to get the action or from a uh, worse hand. But um, yes, I, I went all in. Looking to get called, but uh, he folds. Still uh, a nice spot. We got back one of our binds. Next, uh, ex uh, this hand was exactly after this one. We get nines on the straddle. Under the gut open. I decide to call. Just call. Pretty nice flop. I check. He bets. Just call. There's no, no reason to, to raise that flop. We're pretty much safe. Turn is a 10. Again, I don't think it changes anything. So I check. He bets again. And right now, uh, another blank river. So if we... I've, um, there's 1830 in the pot. And he has around 1280. Now our goal is how we can get him to to stack off so if he has any overpair which obviously is in his range um we're gonna get it in no matter what but if he doesn't i thought at that moment that the best line would to bet really really small looking uh, to show that um, we're just trying to get to a very cheap showdown and like we have uh, a hand like uh, nine eight or ace nine something to that extent or a middle pair like uh, sevens or eights so i decided to bet 300 giving him a false impression that he has fold equity and that's what happened he went all in and he had absolutely nothing so now i feel that i played this hand pretty good so, yep, that ends this review. Let me know if you like this style of review. A session pretty much on the point, the key hands. I'm going to try to do this as often as I can. Um, don't forget, if you like this video, click like, subscribe, um, support You know this uh, effort. Um, I love hearing from you guys. And if you have any comments, better lines, suggestions, please do so. This is why I put these videos on um, the, to generate discussion. Thank you and see you on the tables.